Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Cus from Custom Made Barbershop and today I want to make a video about the most viewed topic on my channel and that topic is Kiss Express, okay? Kiss Express is a semi-permanent hair dye that we put in an a, a, a airbrush machine and we spray in order to get that nice, sharp, crispy hairline that you see in competitive barbering. So, y'all stay tuned, sit back, relax, pay attention now, pay attention. And I'll tell you everything I know about Kiss Express and the airbrush system. So I'll see you soon. Okay, now we're back. So, okay. This is the Kiss Express that I use right here. And this Kiss Express is the Jet Black. Okay? I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it is a K99, which is Jet Black. And this right here is the darkest of the darkest. I used to use the regular black Kiss Express but I realized that it doesn't work that well for me because I cut my Kiss Express with alcohol, okay? So I use 50% alcohol, 50% Kiss Express solution, okay? What I do is I get this, uh, this thing right here. Uh, I actually put a paper towel because I lost the top of this. This is 99 cents. Yeah, I know it's a shame. I should just go get another one at the beauty store, the local beauty store, but I don't. Okay, what I do is improvise. That's what I'm good at, and that's what I do. But definitely I'll get another one. I need to get one soon. Okay, so what I do is I take half of this. Well, this uh, uh, contraption right here comes with lines, and it shows you where you are, I guess. And I'm not good at measurements and all that stuff, but all I know is when I get to right here, which is halfway, okay, half of the bottom, I go ahead and add that much of Kiss Express, and then I add another half of water or rubbing alcohol. And I prefer rubbing alcohol. I prefer the uh, clear rubbing alcohol, but I ran out of that. So in this case, I use the 50% uh, alcohol, okay? And that works well for me when I use 50% alcohol and 50% Kiss Express. So all you do is put it in a container like this, put the top on, and then you mix it up. Once you mix it up and you get it all mixed up real good, you go ahead and on your airbrush gun, this right here is a uh, master airbrush gun. Uh, this is airbrush, I had this for a few months now, probably about nine or ten months now. And uh, it comes with this compressor right here. I got it on Amazon, so y'all check it out. Uh, check out the description and I'll add a uh, link to where you can purchase this uh, airbrush and airbrush gun. And this is the compressor, so uh, I'll add that to the link. Okay, so you open this top up on your airbrush gun and you pour the solution in the uh, 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 half alcohol, half Kiss Express inside of this. You put the top back on and then you're good to spray, okay? See, I just sprayed a little bit right there and I'm not sure if you heard that rumbling noise, but when you do spray, the compressor goes ahead, it starts to shake and rumble. So I put the compressor right here inside my... Uh, drawer for my station and let me show you what kind of spray uh, how, to, how it sprays when you put 50% alcohol and 50% uh, uh, Kiss Express so when you hit this trigger right here on the top of the airbrush gun that's what you get okay so sometimes it splatters a lot if you don't get the mixture just right but for the most part this is good enough right here for me to add a crisp line to any haircut okay so what I would do if I had a haircut that I wanted to pop a little more I would grab one of these cardboard flyers shop flyers and uh, right here and what you would do is let's just say if I wanted to draw a straight line right here what I would do is put the cardboard over the person's uh, scalp or forehead and then you just spray at an angle and what it does is it actually draws a crisp nice line so in this case I guess we'll be, we'll be doing the opposite so let's do this we'll put the cardboard right here because the hairline of course would be on top so we'll put the cardboard right here position this right Come back with the airbrush, hit the trigger, 
And all you need is a little bit. You don't want to overdo it and put too much because then it looks unnatural. So what I do is I put it at an angle, spray it, move the cardboard, and there you go. A nice clean, crisp line. I don't know if you guys can see that, but nice, crispy, clean line. I want to do some more spraying just so you guys can kind of get the, uh, get the hang of what I'm doing here. So uh, the darker the, uh, you want the solution to be, the less, of course, alcohol you would put in the mixture, the less alcohol you would put in the mixture, the uh, lighter you want, of course, the more liquidy you would put, more liquid you would put in, uh, in combination with the uh, Kiss Express. This comes out really thick, so there's no way that you can just put just Kiss Express in there. Um, and if you do put just Kiss Express in there, it won't spray out well because the solution is just so thick. So you would actually have to cut it if you want to put it in this airbrush gun. Okay, so I'm getting a phone call. Y'all hold up real quick. Uh, busy. Anyways, so um, that's pretty much everything that I have for you today. So let's go back and let's look, go back and look at what we did. First, I got this um, container right here. Got the Kiss Express, okay? And what I use is Jet Black. That's K99. All right, so I put half Kiss Express in this container. The other half, you can either use water, just regular good old water, or you can use alcohol. I normally use the clear alcohol, but I'm out of that, so I use this green alcohol, okay? 50-50. 50% Kiss Express, 50% liquid, whatever liquid you want to use, okay? Then, you shake it up, put it in this container, you shake it up real good, Open the top on your airbrush gun, okay? Take the top off of the airbrush gun. You pour the solution in there, okay? You fill it up as much as you need it to be filled, okay? Then, you point it at the, uh, I guess you always want to try it out at a piece of paper, a paper towel, a napkin, or something like that. Be very careful, because if you get this stuff on your hands, it stains, as you can see. My hands are very stained. Here, let me spray it a little bit so you guys can see how much it stains. And it depends on the customer or how you put it on your customer, but it can last up to two, three, maybe even four days, depending on the customer. If they just don't go in and wash it out so much. I tell them if you don't go in and wash it out, scrub it out, it'll last a couple of days, maybe two days. But I've had people come back and tell me that it lasts three or four days. So that's a good thing too, because when you spend your money, you kind of want things to last a little long. So uh, I get a lot of compliments about my haircuts especially after using this um, Kiss Express and uh, this airbrush gun it, it does increase the, the, the crispness of your lineup and tape ups so people will tip you very well once you start using this product but it's always best to ask your clients hey is it okay if I use the Kiss Express hair enhancement and they say hey what is it is it a hair dye and I say yeah it's a semi-permanent hair dye and what I do is I mix it with a little bit of water or alcohol and that cuts it and uh, normally it doesn't leave any uh, chemical reaction I heard about the Beijing a lot of barbers been using the Beijing and a lot of people didn't respond well to it, it messed up a lot of people's skin never heard any issues with Kiss Express but I'm sure there might be one or two people out there that have an issue with it but you know I never ran into any issues so you know that sums up my video if you guys got any questions any comments any issues go ahead and add me on Instagram add me on Facebook subscribe to this channel hit like if you like the video don't forget to share with your friends shout out the custom made um, shout out the barber Illuminati this is Cus from custom made barbershop and I'll see y'all soon okay peace